Okay guys, just a quick update here on the Star Destroyer. I wanted to have an opportunity to show you what this wireless power transfer uh, thing looks like. It's real crude right now. Just have it roughly uh, twisted together with some electrical tape uh, plugged into the wall. So I could show you uh, what the intention, what the plan is, um, the Star Destroyer. So you'll see the receiver ring is inside. Again, just taped down roughly to show you guys. It's all hooked up. Then I have the one that's plugged into the wall. And what's going to happen is when everything's uh, all lined up, the goal is to have um, the transmitter that's plugged into the wall built into the stand. That way, when it makes contact, or when you rest the Star Destroyer on top of its stand, um, it'll light up and then you can take it off. You see, the closer you get, the more uh, it's able to transmit. It's not that it's not able to transmit the voltage, but it's not able to transmit at to step it up to a, a two watt power supply in order to drive all the LEDs with a one watt. It wouldn't, you know, it would just very dimly light up the uh, the strip LEDs. So um, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's still a lot of light blocking got to do, of course. Um, and again, you can't really see the uh, fiber optics on the side because there's quite a bit of overspray. But uh, you guys get the idea, okay? And it does work, uh, although not as well because uh, it's got to be lined up perfectly. Um, so the idea is as soon as he, uh, my customer, moves the ship over uh, or puts it on the stand in the appropriate area, um, it's going to light up. Um, the other LEDs having a little trouble because I don't have it. Okay. There we go. So there it is. Uh, lit up in its full glory. You can see there's uh, plenty of light to drive all the fiber. And that ring is just Going to be sitting on the base. I'm not sure where I'm going to position it yet. Might be uh, right there where that dome is. Not so, sure. anyways, you guys, that was just uh, just a quick view uh, snapshot of uh, what the lights look like inside, how I have them arranged, just to give you a basic idea of what it's going to look like, what my plans are uh, with that wireless power transfer thing. Uh, of course, I'll keep you guys updated with the latest, and uh, the fit and finish on it will be professional. <laughs> it won't be taped together, I promise. So, uh, just a little bit more to do on the plating. I'm pleased with how the plating's come out. Um, it's just a little tedious, you know, but it's going to look real good once we get a couple layers of paint down on it. Um, all the panel lines in there uh, with the wash that I plan on putting on top of the white base coat. Uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. So got that to do. I uh, started putting the um, <clears throat> uh, shield generator balls on top. And then I'm going to have a, uh, a bunch of real fine piping. Uh, go all the way around it just like the uh, scale model has and uh, It should shape up to be very nice. Stay tuned for the next update should be a Couple of days to a week. I don't know depending. Thank you